In this video, I'm going to make this promotional sign for a realtor, which happens to be my wife. And we're going to get into the CNC a little bit. We're going to show you a few basic woodworking techniques. It's a fairly simple project, uh, but it was thought it would be a good idea to get back to the CNC. I know I have a lot of people that like the CNC videos, so let's get started on this. To start out, I purchased a board that was already glued up from Home Depot and um, it's just pine and I cut it it's it's 20 inches wide I cut it to 20 inches tall as well that's what we're gonna start with uh, the next thing I'm gonna do here is I need to sand this so I'm gonna just kinda smooth everything out sand it over uh, just get it ready for a coat of finish because we're gonna end up putting this in the CNC machine and I need to stain it before I cut it on the CNC router so we're sanding it and once I get it to exactly how I want it the next step I need to do is I need to apply a finish now uh, I'm just putting a stain on right now and I decided to use carbon gray I thought it would look good I needed something that contrasts well with the pine because we're going to cut through the stain and reveal the unstained wood underneath and that's going to create the contrast to make this sign actually readable. I let the stain dry. Now I'm going to spray on a clear coat. Now I'm going to have to touch up the edges after this gets cut because when we cut the shape out that wood will now be exposed so I'm definitely going to have to stain again. The main reason I'm going to do this uh, clear coat right now is I think it just Kind of bonds everything together a little bit better and I just like doing that before I make my cuts uh, if I can I don't you can't always do it but in this case I can so I'm just gonna hit it with just one coat um, and then I'll let that dry and we'll be ready to start seeing uh, we'll be ready to start cutting on the CNC and then I'll have to go in and, and coat it again because we're gonna expose new wood and this needs to seal it after we cut away everything else and so we're gonna do that and we're ready to cut so now that we're done sealing this we're ready to cut so this is dry now and I'm ready to start cutting out on the CNC now I wanted to show you what I'm cutting so this is what I'm cutting I'm using carbide create I have a Shapeoko CNC machine and this is the default software that came with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the words and then I will cut out the surrounding the house shape so we'll just show a simulation here um, so this is kind of the process that's going to happen And we have a tab built in here, 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 and here. And the reason for the tab is so that it once it cuts the whole way through, the piece doesn't get loose and start just moving freely because that's how you get broken bits and just damaged work pieces. It just creates a huge mess. So uh, there is a bit change in here. We're cutting the lettering out with a V bit. We're cutting the exterior out with just a normal quarter inch uh, router bit, so end mill. And so that adds a little, just one step to it. It's not hard to do, but it, it does add a step that we have to do in the middle here. So we're gonna start by cutting the letters out. Uh, you always wanna cut stuff like that first and then cut the shape last, just in case something were to break free, you at least still have it, you know, the, the other stuff done because once it breaks free it's gone so we're gonna get started on that and move on to the final coats of finish now this board had a little bit of a twist to it and I don't really love dealing with that when I'm cutting on a CNC so I'm going to show you something now I only recommend doing this if you know 100% sure that your cut isn't going to get there but I'm actually going to instead of using these toggles to clamp it down 
I'm actually going to screw it down in the corners. I know that my design does not get to the corners. That actually split it a little bit, but it won't matter because my design is inside of this by about an inch or two on each side, especially in, in these corners. So I'm just going to screw it down so that I know that it's going to be drawn down flat. I don't have to worry about if it's going to, sorry, I'm just checking here. So I know it's drawn down flat and I don't have to worry about it. All right. So that will hold it in place and It'll also make sure that it doesn't move at all in case, it, if, in case I don't get it the whole way down. I don't, I don't always do that, but there are occasions when I do. But like I said, you just got to be 100% sure that your bit isn't going to go out there. I know by looking at my design, it's not, so we should be good. Hey, I wanted to cut in real quick and let you know that, and if you've seen my last couple videos, I've been telling you that I'm going to be announcing something really big really soon and it is still coming I promise uh, we're about to have our second hurricane in 13 days so it's put a little bit of a slowdown on some things uh, just because we have to take time to prepare for that and possibly evacuate I'm really excited about this if you like these videos you're going to get value out of the thing I'm about to announce so please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it I promise you it's coming very soon like I said, these hurricanes have just put a little bit of a delay on things and caused it to take a little longer to get it prepared. So let's get back to the build. Okay, so it cut out, cut out pretty good. Um, it did break free of the tab in the one corner. I think it was because of that kind of twist that was in the board, um, but everything still stayed together okay. I still have some tabs. They're just kind of breaking off right now pretty easily. So um, I may have cut just a hair too deep, but I'm gonna lightly sand this out on the, just the back side because I got some frayed edges and I need to just sand out where those tabs were. Now that I'm done sanding the tabs, I am just gonna hit the edges with stain and we should be ready for a clear coat. Okay, that's dried. Now I'm gonna just hit everything with a clear coat. I'll do that both sides until it's done. Okay, so I put all the finish on. Now, um, one thought I had, because people are going to hold this and in front of a house, I don't know if fingers could get in the way and it might make bad for a picture. So I'm actually going to put like two handles on the back of here. I'm just going to use some scrap wood that I had left over from this being cut out. 
and I will cut out the handle and just use pocket hole screws to attach it so that nothing has to go through the front. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then it'll be all done. So there you have it. You can see it works really well. The handles work great. I can stand in front of the house and my hands are not blocking the sign. So you can see all the information really well. Uh, fairly simple to make. Those of you that have a CNC, uh, this is something you could probably sell. Uh, if you look on Etsy, there's a lot of people selling similar things. Some of them are shaped like keys, uh, but it was not hard to do. Uh, did most of the design work in Canva so and I just imported it all in worked really well uh, aside from that just check these videos out that are coming up on the screen there's gonna be something that if you like this video or if you like woodworking videos I'm sure you're gonna like something over here so check that out and we'll catch you next time